Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, this is Missy. We have Mike on the phone with us as well. And today we are lucky enough to have with us Stephanie Woster with White Glove. And she's going to kind of walk us through um, some changes that they've kind of recently made and also kind of get you guys um, doing some planning and some thinking here as we um, head into summer. And of course, um, fall will just be around the corner as well. So Stephanie, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you. And, and guys, as, as normal, if you have questions that pop up that you would like us to have Stephanie um, answer, I think she'll be doing a great job here through the presentation. But go ahead and pop them in the questions panel, and then we'll go ahead and relay those questions to Stephanie as we have time. Go ahead, Stephanie. Perfect. Thank you, Missy. Sure. I am very excited to be here today. I know that having a guest speaker is not normal uh, protocol for your coaching call, so I'm very honored to be here. Um, before we get started, I do want to ask one question. Um, if anybody is currently doing any form of workshops, whether that be a dinner seminar or a educational seminar or a webinar, um, no matter what you're doing, your question may be, am I doing the right thing to get the optimal ROI for myself? And hopefully, with speaking with me today, you'll learn how to get that optimal ROI. So, who is White Glove? White Glove has started in 2015 from Mike and Dean Thurman and Jeff Grail. Mike and Dean are active advisors. They own InvestWise Financial here in Michigan, and they have been in the industry for a very long time. Before they created White Glove, they were doing what they like to call the pay and pray method, where they would pay all of this money up front to have those mailers sent out and pray that they actually get people to attend their events. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Michigan weather or not, but snow is a huge problem here in Michigan. And one of their last events Mike and Dean had before creating White Glove was actually snowed out. They spent all of this money up front and then couldn't even have the event. They were out thousands of dollars. And so they decided there has to be something better. So. They created White Glove. Since 2015, we have hosted over 30,000 workshops. And much like most of you, COVID had thrown a wrench in our marketing style. And so we had to adapt. And thus, we started doing webinars. And since COVID, we have successfully done over 4,000 webinars, and we've helped over 10,000 advisors across the nation. So pretty great success since 2015. Missy already introduced me, but I'll introduce myself again. My name is Stephanie Worcester. I am an executive marketing consultant here at White Glove. My role is to work side by side with professional financial professionals to help you with seminars or webinars and make sure it is successful for you and is up to your standards. What I'm going to talk to you guys about today is the five hacks that White Glove does. So seminars versus webinars, what are the pros and cons? finding the right audience for you, how to pick the best topic that will get you those meetings that turn into new clients, getting people to show up to your events, choosing the right marketing partner, maybe it's White Glove, <laughs> and then how to double your ROI. So seminars versus webinars. Is one better than the other? With seminars, you're going to have a higher conversion rate. B 
because you're able to shake hands, build those relationships in person, people are able to see you and see your aneurysms and just know like, or mannerisms, not aneurysms, <laughs> and know what kind of person you are face to face. Now, the start of 2023, we have done a lot more seminars than webinars. Last year it was more even, and then obviously 2020 and 2021, there were a lot more webinars than seminars. So with webinars, you're able to get a more wider reach of an audience. Let's say I were doing a webinar, which I am today, I'm able to talk to all of you. I don't have to meet face-to-face -face in person to build those relationships and gain a new client. I'm able to speak to a wider audience. I don't have to just be in my community. Also with webinars, we have what is called a webinar concierge. They are going to help you do um, the recording for your webinar if you decide to do a rebroadcasting. They'll coach you on how to best present your webinar, if you have a call to action, if you have a chat box. They'll do everything for you. You record it once, and then you could be out golfing or hanging out, hanging out with your family on the beach, doing whatever, and your event is happening, and all of a sudden, you have all of these new appointments coming into your calendar. Now, the cons, there's a lower conversion rate, and it takes longer for the cycle to go from attending your webinar to becoming a client. Our most successful advisors here at White Glove are using both. They are having a seminar in their backyard and talking to those in their community, but then they're also doing a rebroadcasted webinar all over the nation. And little known fact, if you didn't already read, the net worth of attendees for seminars and webinars are the same. So you're still getting quality high net worth leads, whether you do a seminar or a webinar. Hack number two, how do you attract the right audience? Well, here at White Glove, because we've been doing this since 2015, we have a lot of data on financial statements and net worth pockets in your area that we know where you should be marketing to. We keep all of the data from our past events and we're able to see if an event performed well or maybe we should go to a different area or try a different topic in that area. Much like webinars, we have someone called a venues concierge for a seminar, and they are going to help you choose the right venue. We like to do more of an educational style. So something like a school or a library or a community center, something that's going to be more familiar to your community. With that, you don't have to buy a dinner. You don't have to worry about somebody bringing a date to your seminar to have a free steak and potato. And that has happened recently to somebody who came to White Glove. They uh, had a dinner seminar prior to us, came and did an educational workshop and realized, I don't have to pay for these plate liquors. We have data on zip codes that are going to work best for you in your area. And so you could tell me or anyone here at White Glove, hey, I would like to do Birmingham, Michigan. And we are going to look into that area and see if that's going to perform best for you or if we maybe should go a little west or a little east.
how do you optimize your marketing message? How do you choose the best topic for you or for those who are going to attend your event? We're going to help make sure that you pick the best topic for you, whether that be social security, tax and retirement, estate planning, excuse me, sorry. Let's say your target audience is somebody who is in their 40s. I would tell you, hey, the best topic for you would probably be college planning. These people in their 40s are most likely thinking about college planning at this point for their children. And so I will help you best pick your topic. Also, so Stephanie, we, we specialize in retirees. So okay. what are the topics you'd, rec you'd recommend for, for going after that marketplace? Yeah, for retirees, definitely taxes and retirement would be a great topic. Or estate planning, which Missy told me that you have the 21 point, oh, what is it called? The 21 point and then the 21. Point checklist, yep. yep. 21 point checklist, yep. Yep. Yep, and she told me that with the estate planning topic, that would probably be perfect for your advisors. Okay. Actually, all um, three of those that she has listed with the social security, the taxes and retirement, mm -hmm. and the estate planning, we felt like they all segue very, very well into what we do. It's just uh, the, the, I guess, kind of the launch off point as to where we go from each one of those topics. So all three of that perfect. are listed on the screen excluding the college um, planning, well, I think mm -hmm. uh, fit very well with what where, where we go. Yeah, yep. And we also, before you pick a topic that you want to do, we have the marketing landing pages where you'll be able to see the bullet points on there. Um, so you'll know if that is a topic you'll be comfortable speaking to. But if you focus on retirees, all those topics would probably be something you would be confident in speaking to. With us being more educational based, we don't want you focusing on products or yourself or your firm. The more salesy it seems, the less likely you will be to close a client. So you want to focus on the education. But I will be here to help you make sure that you are able to create a presentation or have a presentation that will focus best on that education. Now, if you weren't using white glove, the best thing you would want to do for yourself is create your own marketing landing page that will have those bullet points that will talk about or that will show what you're going to ta talk about in your presentation. Show up front what your registrants are signing up for to learn. And then use keywords to target your audience online. Now, if you use White Glove, you don't have to worry about those things because we're going to do all that for you. And then again, our most popular topics are taxes and retirement estate planning and social security. Don't know if you know this or not, but White Glove created taxes and retirement. It's been copied a couple of different times, but um, that is our most popular topic at this point, followed by social security and then estate planning. Now, how our services work is we have three different features. Our standard, you could do an individual workshop. It's going to be no upfront cost to you. We are going to find registrants for your event. And then your event will take place. And you only pay for those that actually attend your event the day after. We have White Glove One, which is our um, 
It includes our Nurture and Engage platform. This one is a subscription-based. Um, it includes all of the four other bullet points, so no upfront cost, registrations at no risk, attendance at no risk, and a new client guarantee. If you don't get a new client after your first 50 households purchased, we're gonna host a whole new event for you completely free of charge to ensure you get that new client. With the subscription for White, White Glove One, we have an appointment request guarantee and then Nurture and Engage campaign. Nurture and Engage is going to be a platform where our concierge team will send out branded monthly newsletters from you. It'll have your headshot, your name and your company name, and it'll go out to your existing clients, but also those in your CRM that might not be a client yet. And they are going to get branded content from you. Another form of this is also social media management. If you don't have a business platform, we will create one for you completely on this program and we'll run it for you. You get to decide what kind of marketing is going out. Um, you could do live Facebook broadcasts. You could do kind of a podcast style. There's a bunch of stuff that comes with Nurture and Engage and it will keep you in front of your current clients and those that aren't clients yet. That is $399 monthly or $3,599 annually. So two different options there. Stephanie, can I jump in? Yep. You have an asterisk after new client guarantee. So is that because it's new or is there, what are the, what's the small print with that? Because obviously if, with a new client guarantee, this becomes totally risk-free to people because not only are you guaranteeing a, uh, you know, a appointment requests and the following that, uh, you mm -hmm. know, below that, but you're actually, because you, with appointments, there's no guarantee you're going to make money, but with a new client guarantee, that's obviously guaranteeing that you're going to make money, which makes this even more, or essentially all risk free. Mm -hmm. So how, what's the, what's the asterisk or the small print there? Yep. So with the new client guarantee, that is after your first 50 households purchased. So mm -hmm. probably around two events will take place. If you don't get a new client after the 50 households purchased and 120 days, we will host that whole new event for you completely free of charge to make sure you get that new client. So guys, I mean, can you be any more, not, they're not just guaranteeing appointments, they're guaranteeing that you'll get a client. And again, if you use the 21 point checklist, we've gotten us over this really uh, pretty heavily for the last 18 months as we've gone through script after script after script. If you do the 21 point checklist, how many clients are you going to get if you get appointments, guys? Every appointment you get, how many of those people you get to move? If you're, you don't even have to be awesome at the 21 point checklist. If you're just good at the 21 point checklist. So give me some numbers there. 50% of them, 20% of them, 80% of them, what are you going to get? So type in some numbers. Everybody. We got lots of 90s coming in, an 80, 90, 70, 80. So, so guys, this, they're making it about as, <laughs> I don't know, not only are they they're guaranteeing appointments, they're guaranteeing you're going to get uh, a client. And if you get a client, how much, uh, uh, how much are you, will it pay for the event, guys? So I can't see any more risk-free than what they're offering here. So thanks for letting me jump in there, uh, Stephanie. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for reiterating that too. So I know I've talked about estate planning quite a bit, but I wanted to reiterate this topic because of your 21 point um, checklist and the 21 light. From my understanding, you're already talking about the estate planning topic in the presentations that you're doing. 
there is so much demand for estate planning knowledge and not enough advisors are doing this topic. This topic brings in the highest net worth leads that you will get out of any of our topics. With Mike and Dean being active financial advisors still, they are doing our workshops themselves and pulling data from um, what they've seen. So Social Security on average is going to bring in 300,000 AUM. Taxes and retirement is 400,000. Estate planning is 700,000. So this topic is the one you should be doing, in my personal opinion, especially if you're already going to be comfortable speaking on this topic. Hack number four, how do you get people to show up? So all of our marketing is completely digital based. We're not going to be sending out mailers and paying and praying and hoping that somebody is going to show up to your event. We are getting registrants in real time from our targeted ads. When they sign up for your event, they will get confirmation sent either via text message, phone call, or email. This also includes a map of your actual location and a picture of your venue if you do in person. So they are, are already familiar and comfortable with your location. Leading up until the day of the event, there are going to be several touch points to remind the registrants that your event is happening. They get a phone call day of event too. Now, this is all included in that household price. Everything we do is in one nice little bundle. I don't know about you, but when I look at the old way, it gives me a bit, in, bit of anxiety. You have you at the top, and then you have to choose your topic, you have to write a script, design your presentation, choose a venue, so on and so forth. And all of that is keeping you away from nurturing your current clients. You're not able to optimize your time to close business. But with White Glove, all you have to do is have a conversation with me and trust that I will do what I do best and set up an event for you. Do my whole team, my marketing team, my venues team, my client success concierge that's going to be there with you, giving you the best tips and tricks. We're all going to make sure that your event goes perfectly. And all of that mess that's there on the left, we're gonna do it for you in one nice little package. And all you have to do is show up to the event, present, and then do what you do best, close business. So six key things that make a difference. White Glove was built by advisors. They're still active in the advisor world. They know your headaches. They know what you have to go through. And so therefore, we're going to make sure that we touch on all those pain points you go through. We're going to do all the work for you. You don't have to worry about setting up an event, making sure you are able to get people there. Anything that goes into that event, we're gonna take care of for you. And we take on all the risk because you don't pay anything up front. You only pay for those that actually attend. And then you only pay for those, again, who actually attend and there's no upfront cost. Everything is post event so you know what you're going to get. And we guarantee results that new client guarantee. We're not only guaranteeing that you're going to get an appointment, but we're guaranteeing that you will get a client.
from doing this since 2015, we have all of this research on different markets. We know the zip codes that are gonna work. We know the areas, the um, locations like libraries, community centers. We have all of this past data that we hold on to and know that those locations are going to work for you. We're able to recommend the best topics, the best venues. We're able to target that high net worth audience and we handle the registrations, no upfront cost. I mean, there's really just no risk in using us. And then after the event, we have that 45 day conversion campaign. This is completely free of charge. Um, 45 days post event, we are going to call, email, and text all of those who registered for your event, not just those who attended, but everyone who registered. And we are going to try to get an appointment for you. Now, if you have nurturing, so how many, but oh, about how many um, touches would you have in that 45 days? In 45 days, there are five emails five text messages and five phone calls. So 15 separate touch points in 45 days. So guys, can I ask you how much it would cost for you to do that yourself? Time-wise, hassle-wise, and money-wise. And that's all included in the price. And, and uh, Tom, one of our top advisors, uh, he's gonna talk to you here in a few minutes about successes he's had. And you've heard him talk about follow-up before. And his whole practice, I wouldn't, Tom can disagree with me, but I would say 50% of his income comes from his unbelievable ability to follow up because so many, well, let me ask you a question. You guys have been sales long enough. How many touches does it take to sell somebody on average? How many touches does it take to sell somebody on average? Let's see some numbers. How many touches? You've been in sales for decades, many of you. So how many touches does it take? What's the research show? Nobody's hazarding a guess. So, very good, Bill. William, uh, uh, seven. So the average is seven, and see sometimes all the way up to nine. It depends on the industry you're in. That means some people will buy the uh, when the first touch. Some people won't buy for the 14th touch, but the average is seven touches. And if all you do is an event, and then when you don't get appointments, you just walk away from all those people, that you're, you're walking away from, from free money. You've already done the time, work, and effort to, and spent the money to get there. Having this follow-up is gonna really enhance the amount of business you're gonna be able to do per event, and they do it for you. So, I mean, that is, that is unbelievable. So, thanks, okay. uh, Stephanie, for letting me jump in there. Yeah, yeah, and the best part is, too, if you, purchase the Nurture and Engage platform, that 45 day touch point never ends. Anybody who enters your CRM will be put into that cadence of touch points, whether that be a monthly newsletter, during the holidays, say Thanksgiving, we'll send out something like, happy Thanksgiving, here's a recipe. Just to keep you top of mind with those clients, it'll never end with the Nurture and Engage platform. Tying it all together, we have so much data, so much data on marketing and past events and locations that work and locations that didn't work. And that's really important to have because if you come to me and you say, I want to do an event and you give me an area and I look up the past data and I see historically this area doesn't perform well, I'm going to tell you maybe we should go to the next town over or Maybe it was the venue that didn't perform well. We have all of this data where we know if it's going to work or not, and you don't have to risk going somewhere that is not going to perform well. A little more information on the conversion campaigns. This just gives you a little example of our text messages or our emails. Um, and then again, it's complimentary to you from the seminars or the webinars. And you can see here, um, you can, they can schedule with you directly from that text message, or they could schedule with you 
from that email. It's hooked up directly to your calendar. So you would give myself or my team your calendar and we'll set everything up directly for you. And again, here's how those touch points work. I guess I misspoke, it is 14, not 15, but you can see um, text, email, phone, text, email, phone. So it's not bombarding them. It's not going to be constant phone calls every day because who likes that? I know I don't. But we are going to be touching on them just enough to get you that appointment. And again, it's branded to you and it's going to be um, directed directly to your calendar. And then with the Nurture and Engage, again, this never ends. They can opt out of an email if they decide to, but until they do that, they're going to constantly get branded marketing from you, whether that be on social media, or a monthly newsletter to their email. And you'll constantly stay top of mind with your current clients and then potential leads. And that's all I have for today. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. So Tom, can you hop in? You bet. Can you stay on while Tom uh, kind of tells about his experience and maybe he'll have questions or comments that you can jump in and either enhance or answer. Absolutely. Go. Oh, I can. Yeah, time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you would uh, like to know my experiences uh, with White Glove and some of my input on this. All right. So I have used uh, White Glove off and on quite a bit for the last several years, which to include during the whole COVID thing and shortly after and such. Now, I will tell you full full disclosure, I've only done webinars with White Glove. Uh, my webinars, I've never had a zero, I've never had a negative uh, on the webinars. They've all been successful to varying degrees. Um, I'm very comfortable with- When you say negative, you, when you say negative, Tom, you're talking about uh, what you spent and what you made. Co correct, They're very, yeah, exactly, okay. that's exactly right. Sorry, I wasn't very clear on that. Um, but, so yeah, so, I've always been comfortable with the digital approach to things. Uh, I've done it for off and on for years, and I do a lot of digital stuff uh, through my practice. So that, that was never a problem for me. Um, there was a lot of great things about um, White Glove that I loved. Uh, the guarantees, which now learning from Stephanie, are even enhanced even further, which is outrageous. Um, the effectiveness uh, and the efficiency of their organization uh, and how they put things together. It's, it's kind of like, hey, Stephanie, I, here's what I want to do. She goes and does it. And, and it's, it, as we all know, as advisors, especially small shops, or in my case, where I've struggled with some uh, um, issues with getting the right, the right help, Having somebody else there that you can rely on to do steps for you is critical. Um, and that has been one of the great experiences that I've had with them is the ability to just basically turn it over. And with the webinar, what I personally liked about the webinar was, like Stephanie said early on, it's super awesome. I can record it, I can record it, I can re-record it a hundred different times if I need to, if I have, don't feel like I've done a good job. Um, until I feel comfortable with it. And then I just hand it off. And then they can replay that based on our marketing campaigns at, at whenever that is. Like, you know, if I'm in meetings with other people or taking the, the, the little known thing called a vacation or a trip or whatever, um, I, can, I can have them doing that stuff in the background. Um, now, I know that, uh, um, you know, we all kind of ran into that COVID thing where seminars or educational workshops. I love their idea or I love their approach. And this is just me personally. Uh, I love that they kind of focus more on the educational perspective of, of the sub, uh, seminars or webinars, as opposed to, we see an awful lot of seminars out there that are very salesy. Uh, and Stephanie's right, that just, that's an instant turnoff 
for uh, people. So their, their taxes in retirement, I've used a slightly modified version of that, uh, but that, that concept has been super successful. Um, uh, and what kind of people do you get uh, on these webinars? Just like well, you've closed that. You mean you've been doing it for years, and yeah. uh, especially the last couple of years, what kind of quality of people uh, are you getting on those? And obviously, it's not everybody's not. I'm I'm just saying, uh, broad stroke. What kind of people do you see? Sure, absolutely, and that's 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 a that's a great uh, point and a great point for clarification is uh, kind of piggybacking on what Stephanie said earlier. The the type of people that I talk to or that come to the table are almost, I would say, pretty darn identical to what I would get in an educational uh, workshop that I might do. It's the same kind of level of people, the same uh, demographics and things that we select up front, uh, but it's the same quality of people. It's it's the same people look, that are looking for help. They're looking for information. They're looking for knowledge. Uh, they're looking for somebody they can talk to in a lot of cases. Um, so I didn't see. And how many how many people would you say? I mean, what, do you get people ever with a million dollars or more in assets? Yes, I have. Yeah, it's not a lot. Is that a rare thing, or does that happen regularly? It's a little. It, it it's a little bit more rare from the sense that okay. our target market tends to be kind of in that upper six figure to low seven figure perspective, and I just seem. <laughs> I, for whatever reason, maybe it's my area. I don't know what it would be interesting, I guess, maybe to learn what that is. But my kind of average client size hovers in the 800 to a million dollar range. Okay, um, perfect. That's, that's been fairly consistent uh, across and the And you board. see those kind of people from webinars? I'm sorry? And you find those kind of people, or you see those oh kind God. of people attending yeah, these webinars? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Again, you find the... Uh, the higher net worth people, absolutely, I've had higher net worth people come, uh, and I'm thinking that the, the estate planning one might be a good one to explore as well, because we might see a little bit more of that. Uh, but yeah, I've I, I've been very, it's been very consistent, um, and almost kind of predictable, uh, if you will. Cool. Um, but you know, the the one thing I do have to point out, and I'm going to piggyback again what Stephanie said earlier, and add an additional point, which is Y'all, you guys got to be careful just with the idea from a planning perspective, okay? It, 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 you got to be careful with the longer process. If you choose to do webinars, and I love what Stephanie was saying earlier, is a lot of the more successful guys, which I'll, I'll be going back this fall to doing that, which I'll be running webinars in the off times after I'm doing a live event. I'm, going, I'm, I'm fully engaging going back to live events in the fall. And, but I want to do both. I want to have the live events, and in between live events, I'm going to be running uh, webinars and, and things of that nature. But you have to be prepared for the longer process. It is a longer process. And when I first started doing it, that was frustrating as all get out, um, because it was it was frustrating from the fact that most of uh, most of the uh, team that are on the call today, we all have had the same experience. You, you, you do a seminar, you do an educational event, you get to shake hands and meet, meet people and kiss babies and do all these, these cool things that you do when you interact with people and you get to see them face to face, it shortens the process. It's just, it's just how it works. The webinars increase that time and it can increase that time decently significantly. So that's just one thing that I would want, want everybody on the team to kind of be prepared for it. It's not a, not necessarily a, a horrible negative. It's just don't expect that I did a webinar on Tuesday. The person scheduled their first Zoom call on Thursday, and then the next week they're sitting in my office uh, doing everything uh, and and running through the process. It doesn't always work that way. Um, but that's that's kind of where, and, and be, actually I'll, I'll circle back on that in a second. The other thing that I think everybody on the team needs to be aware of is the cost, okay? So what Stephanie's saying is, is that they do it all for you, and they do, and they're adding new things and really cool stuff that, uh, that we should be taking advantage of. Um, just to be, again, it's not necessarily a negative, like, oh my God, don't do it. It's a negative in the sense that a lot of times we're not prepared. It's going to be more expensive to do it this way. 
So from a budgeting standpoint, you just want to sit down and take the time to lay out a real budget and what you think is um, going to work for you because it is more expensive. That's just the bottom line. It's it's not a horrible thing. It's not a great. It, it's just it's nothing. It just means it's something you need to be prepared for. And I know in the past, um, if I was trying to shoot from you know fly by my pants i would get caught in that like oh crap look how expensive this thing was and it took me x amount of time before i had an roi on it once i sat down and really started to map it out and say okay if i know my length of time it takes to go from a to z with this prospective client then i can better handle my marketing funds i can better plan for the a little bit longer process um, and not feel quite as pinched, uh, uh, whether it's mentally or dollars wise. So it, that's more of a just be prepared and it is more expensive uh, at, at the end of the day. Um, but I think in the long run, the things that, that they're doing are things that I've done for years. And like Mike said, I think Mike, you're probably on target. I, I need to relook at my numbers. But I would say that a huge chunk of uh, my revenue in any given year comes from drip, 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 drip. All the people that have come through webinars, seminars, uh, et cetera, um, referrals from webinars. I've had people say, hey, you know, listen, I didn't work with this guy, Tom, for whatever reasons, but I really liked him and suddenly shows up their brother or their, their, their good friend from down the street. So. The fact that they are able to, for a fairly reasonable cost, take over a lot of that dripping for you is absolutely phenomenal. Again, for, especially for us that are in smaller offices, to have some of those things taken off our plate. And let's go one step further. If we already have some of our own dripping systems in place, i.e. using what Mike and 5Q and Missy and everybody gives us, if you're doing some of those, your own newsletter, some of your own drip campaigns, uh, follow-up articles, whatever it is you're doing um, from your own dripping, if you've got a really good drip campaign in place and you use theirs, holy crap. I mean, you could be talking, you could be touching people, you know, 10, 12, 15 times in a month um, and, and kind of maybe speed up the process a little bit of, of maybe people knocking on your door that wouldn't have otherwise or uh, again if 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 it takes an average of seven uh touches well if you're doing that seven touches in a month if you can double that in a month or in a month and a half or something of that nature it just it just seems to make sense so you know you know i know mike and, and missy and everybody we always talk about drip 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 get on this look at all these cool things you can do look at all these cool ways you can engage your clients or your prospects there's there's a reason they talk about that because that stuff absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt i'm living proof that it makes a huge impact and when we all got hit by covid and and shortly thereafter uh, it was a lot of that kind of business that let me ride that initial phase of the storm out without feeling much of a pinch uh, mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day. Uh, sorry. Um, oh. Go ahead. Tom, were you using white glove prior to um, COVID? I had a few times prior to COVID, um, but I was not fully engaged uh, until after or during or whatever. Uh, okay. COVID, and that's when um, I immediately took upon myself to to say, okay, what what are we going to do? How are we still going to be marketing? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's COVID, the summertime, December. It doesn't it doesn't matter if, if there what what's going on in the external world. There's never a bad time to market. It's just certainly, of course, are there better times or more beneficial times? Of course, mm -hmm. that's why we do so much heavy marketing in the fall or early. Uh, late winter, early spring. Um, certainly, there's more productive times, but but there's never a bad time. Uh, and I think that's why I love what Stephanie was saying earlier about uh, the more successful clients or the more successful guys are doing both. They're doing live stuff now that we're able to get back into that full speed, uh, and they're doing the webinars because they're touching more people, maybe a few different people. Because we all got to remember 
that that not everybody's going to want to get up and go to a live webinar or i'm sorry to a, a, a live event um they're just statistically not everybody's going to want to do that just like statistically some people are more prone to go to the dinner seminar versus statistically some people are more prone to go to an educational uh, class or whatever you want to call it um, so it's one of the things by the way if you're not and wake loves really good at this and, and stephanie said it multiple times and they will actually help you with this a little bit track your numbers and and, and know where you are uh, from a numbers perspective so you know what your ROs, ROIs are what how long it takes you to get to where you need to be so you can be better at planning out your marketing and working with Stephanie and and uh, all of her uh, cool peeps uh, allows us to have a piece of that in there and, and have those conversations I've had and this was before Stephanie came on with, with my guy um, I've had hour and a half conversations talking about the numbers and the stats and where we should be going and why we should be doing it here versus there and you know doing all that stuff I mean they are going to take the time to hone this in uh, for you guys and it just the more somebody else can do for you and they can do it right and they can do it efficiently and effectively uh, at a reasonable cost um, the, the more you're able to be out there doing the things you need to do uh, for your clients or which of course is one of those is knowing and, and living by living and dying by the 21 point checklist at, at, at the end of the day um, and, and can I jump in there a second Tom yeah. Mm -hmm. good yeah, yeah, yeah so guys yeah, so question guys why would they spend an hour and a half with Tom why are they so vested in what zip codes work and what zip codes don't work why why uh, do they want to talk to you Instead of just uh, saying, hey, here's the zip codes I want to mail to, I'll mail to them and they'll be done. Why, why do they want to invest all that time and effort in you? And it's, it's a selfish reason on their part. They're not doing it because they love you. Why are they doing that? <laughs> Anybody? So I answer that. Why are they doing that? How would they be hurt if your marketing or your seminar did not work? It's not uh, Dale. Yes, yeah, success breeds uh, business. Sure, that's not why they're doing it either. Why are they doing it? If they fail getting you in front of people, if they fail helping you get a client, sure, you may never do it again, and you may not refer them out to other people. Yeah, that's going to hurt them in the long run. How will they be hurt immediately if they don't spend time to make sure your event is successful? Have you been listening for the last <laughs> half hour? What do they give you guys? What do they give you? One word. What is that? Guaranteed. What is that, Tom? Guaranteed. Yeah, they guarantee. Yeah. They'll have to, <laughs> if they don't produce for you, they have to spend more of their money to try to help you do it again if you don't get a client, if you didn't get the appointment ratios. They have to do it again, so they're doing it selfishly, and that's what I want. I want somebody who's going to lose if I lose and win if I win. Don't you want a win-win, lose-lose uh, um, relationship? Because that's going to make them vested in your interest. And, and you did hit up uh, the third rail there, um, Tom, earlier with expense. So when you're saying they're more expensive, are you saying they're more expensive than just like doing mailing postcards? I mean, what, what do you mean uh, the expense? So time-wise, money-wise, what are you comparing it to? Uh, I would be car could, could, uh, comparing it to just basic traditional uh, seminar. Um, with no guarantees. With no guarantees, and it's just right. any run of the mill mail house that says, "Here's, give us your four grand or five or whatever it is, and this is what, what you're going to get for that. Where with White Glove, they're going to give you the cost, and and but along with that cost comes this this extensive list of all the things that they do for you, that they get you for you, that they help you with, that they do on your behalf. I mean, it's it it it, it and and yes, I did touch on the third rail, and I apologize if if anybody got upset by that, but. <laughs> Um, it's, no, it's not upset, but we we want clarification. Yeah. That yeah, I, 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 many of us buy expensive cars because of what we got with expensive cars, expensive houses because we get expensive houses, expensive vacations because we get expensive vacations. What we don't want to do is spend more and get nothing 
for it. Absolutely. And the one thing that I'll always spend, guess what, what's the one thing, and we just touched on it, what is the one thing I will always, 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 always spend more for? One word, what is it? Guarantees. Guarantees. Yeah. Guys, guarantees. That's because you know what, how many, we've all been in this business, we, on, on the call today, we have probably thousands of years of experience. How many times have marketing companies said, oh, it works great, oh, it works great, oh, it works great. And you say, well, how do I know? Well, it worked great for the last person I did it for. Okay, so if I spend money, what will happen? Well, you know, it, 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 you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna work. Do I wanna hear that BS? What I want is what? If it doesn't work, you're gonna what? Dude. You gotta have a guarantee. How many yeah, people buy know. anything without guarantees anymore? So we cannot market in today's world without guarantees. So that's so uh, when we say it's more expensive, you, you get an uh, you have to look at like Tom mentioned the ROI, and also <laughs> not only the money ROI but the emotional ROI. That yeah. hey, I'm not afraid to market because I know I'm going to be made. Hole. And again, Tom, how many times have you spent money with white glove that you ended up in the hole money wise? Never. And that's, that's the key. And, and again, I, yeah. I, I apologize for not being a little more no, clear with no, that no. point. So, yeah. yeah. That, so, as you know, sometimes I'm, I'm communicating and I, I think I'm doing okay, but then I realize. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing great. We appreciate it. But, but yeah, that, that is good clarification and good perspective, especially with those guarantees. And the new one on there, guarantee that you're going to get a client. I mean, that's like a no brainer at the end of the day. Um, and they're not asking for you to have, oh, if you don't get a new client in a year or 37, you know, webinars, <laughs> they're, they, they're giving you a reasonable time frame that says, hey, if, if, if for some reason things go haywire, we're, we got you back. We're going to cover you. Now, obviously, you know, the things that we do at 5Q and the processes that we follow, you know, all but guarantee that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. But just in the event that somehow it did, it's great as the advisor who's spending the money to say, OK, something crazy goes haywire. I'm I don't know. My brain's off in left field somewhere and I'm uh, uh, I'm. Uh, you know, screwing up my 21s or whatever it is. The fact that that somebody's uh, 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 got my back, not just on on attendees, but then that whole kind of we're going to seal the deal. We're going to give you a little extra for that. Um, that becomes a, a no-brainer and b an additional justification for I I'm going to have an outlay of money, and I know that that money is going to come back to me one way or another in in time um we just i just want you to be prepared for that that's all that's all i was saying yeah. earlier no I, and we're running a, a law or getting close to the end here but i do want yeah. tom your opinion and stephanie your opinion mm -hmm. obviously fall is a fantastic and one of these is the second best time to market after the beginning of the year but um can, stephanie and tom can you speak to we're coming into summer stephanie do mm -hmm. these things work do you, do you say you know what the summer no guarantees during the summer we'll start guaranteeing again in the fall Oh, no. Is that how it works? Or nope. so what success rates do you have in the summer? Yeah. So honestly, from our past statistics, we do not see enough of a difference to tell people not to market in the summer. If anything, there is more of a need to market in the summer because so many advisors take that time off. Yep. The demand for knowledge never leaves, but the supply for knowledge does. Summer marketing, perfect. You should be doing it. Um, I'll chime in and uh, back her up on that with the addition of um, a couple of my best clients came from webinars last year, or I guess a couple of my best newer clients came from webinars they did last year in August. So, um, and it was Mike Love webinars. Uh, and again, webinars are a little whole little bit of a different animal than live uh, seminars and whatnot. But um, I, yeah, I've had great success, and uh, that's usually when I start my quote unquote fall marketing is in the later summer. I always take July off, but I usually start sometime in early August um, with that um, piece of it. But yeah, I completely agree with her. There's never a bad time, and summer is actually a really good time. 
especially if you've got any kind of drip system in place and, and, and you can couple that with theirs. I mean, what a, what a great opportunity uh, to get in front of people you might not otherwise have done, done so with. And so Tom, we're gonna close it up here, but Tom, were you paid in any way by White Glove for <laughs> speaking in their behalf today? <laughs> I wish. No. <laughs> so, and Tom's uh, always terrific at, at sharing his success with you guys. I really appreciate Tom, and I'm sure they do too, hearing an advisor's perspective on this. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for for um, uh, investing your time with us. We appreciate it very much. And Stephanie, we appreciate you and all the information you shared with us today. So, guys, yeah, please, there is zero risk. Zero risk to this unless you think you can't sell yourself out of a paper bag. So if you're not trying to make more money, I get why you wouldn't market. But if you're looking to make more money, the only way you're going to do it with marketing because pennies don't fall from the sky. So you, this is a no risk way to start making money again, putting your big toe in the water and getting out there in front of new people. Make sense? Thanks, and Stephanie. For everyone, Thank I have oh, updated our website with all of Stephanie's information. So underneath resources, underneath White Glove, you'll have Stephanie's information, um, her direct phone number, her email. You can schedule an appointment with her. She's more than happy to walk through, um, kind of listen to, um, you know, what you're looking for, um, help you find the exact right solution. Um, and then also, uh, just as a quick reminder, guys, these things don't happen overnight for the planning process. So um, we're already into May. Um, the first workshop, they're going to need about five weeks going forward. Then after that, it's about four weeks. So just to kind of, again, set expectations and, and perspectives there. Um, this is not something that you call Stephanie today and then you decide that you're going to have it in a week. Um, it doesn't happen that fast. So things can get rolling a little faster once we get in the process, but you need to plan for about five, five ish weeks or even onwards towards six weeks for your very first one. And then it will, will fall down to closer to the four week mark uh, for any future ones. So just kind of Thanks a, for a that, that clarification. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a, that's good, good to keep in mind. And guys, in today's um, workshop script call, we're going to talk about uh, how in 2015, so eight years ago, I developed a way for guys to go from make, getting an average of 30% appointments to getting an average of 80% appointments. And um, so we're going to be covering, it's a very, very simple thing to do. All you need is a, a person at the back of the room to be waving at you to make sure you're doing it. So we're going to talk about that and how you can go to it. And anybody that said, I've never heard a tape of anybody doing it this way that didn't get 80% or more appointments live, 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 live with a live seminar. In a, in a, in a um, webinar, we average about 50% appointments um, with, with uh, the same technique. So obviously everything works a little bit better with seminars, but seminars, live seminars, but they do have more risks. Um, but with the webinars, we can go to a 50% appointment ratio. And guys, would you be happy with a 50% appointment ratio with a webinar and an 80% appointment ratio with the seminar. And they're super easy, uh, super easy to, uh, to do this technique. So we're going to talk about that technique and why it works here five minutes after the hour, or six minutes after the hour. So thanks, Stephanie. Tom, thanks again so much for uh, 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 doing this for us. Everybody have a great uh, rest of the week, and we'll talk to you all next Monday. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you.